Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Edgar O World, and welcome back to the House of Nightmares. <laughs> Alright you guys, so in today's video, today's video is going to be a spotlight video. Now if you are new to my channel, a spotlight video is we get to grab a specific item from my Chucky collection and we get to talk about it. Only this time it's not going to be one item, it's actually going to be four and I got those four items right here and these are the Mesco Toys 15 inch Chucky dolls. Now you guys know Mesco Toys is really famously known for creating the 15 inch Chucky dolls and they are just so beautiful. The packaging is just amazing and I love these little guys. So we're gonna just, you know, we're gonna talk about it a little bit about these toys. We're gonna talk a little bit about these toys. I'll tell you which one's my favorite one and my least favorite one. But honestly, I really like all of these Mesco toy Chucky dolls. Now they do have a lot of different other stuff that they have come up with but we're just going to be talking about the 15 inch Chucky dolls and uh, this is going to be excluding the Tiffany dolls. This is just going to be based on just Chucky and Chucky only. The reason why I decided to pick the Mesco Toys 15 inch is because you know Mesco Toys is going to release a new one but I do believe that the date, the shipping date for this new 15 inch Chucky doll was pushed back. Now this is the one that we're gonna get the next Chucky doll that we're gonna get from Mesco Toys. It is 15 inches. It's from Child's Play 2 and he is $98. Now you guys I don't know exactly when this was supposed to be shipped out but I do believe the, the shipping date was pushed back. Now according to the website it says it's gonna start shipping between March and May so we still got a little bit more time to save up to to buy this uh, Chucky doll. And I gotta say you guys not for nothing but I I think this is gonna be my new favorite Chucky doll from Mesco Toys because this one just looks incredible. I am the biggest Child's Play 2 fan. That's one of my favorite Child's Play movies is Child's Play 2. And I just really can't wait till we have this one. And I can't I can't wait till I add it to my collection of Mesco Toys. Alright, so we're gonna jump into the first Chucky doll. Now this is gonna be just random because you guys I don't keep track of the the year the dates the times where uh mesco toys releases their toys so i'm just gonna pick one and i'm gonna show you and then we'll just go down the line and we'll just talk a little bit about them all right so the first one that i want to talk to you guys is we're gonna talk about the good guy doll because the good guy doll is just the very infamous popular doll that we know of and this is from child's play one now i gotta say you guys this is right now out of all of them this is my favorite one i really like the cute face on this guy he just looks really really cute and i usually don't take them out of their boxes because i feel like they lose its value once you take them out of their box personally i could be wrong i don't know it's just i guess it's my way of thinking and you know what now that i'm realizing this little guy is in the wrong box i don't think this was his original box so let me Cut, let me, let me put him in the correct box. Why is this Chucky doll on this box? Why? All right, you guys, so now we have him in the correct box. The correct box for the good guy, it has the good guy's logo on it, and then it says Chucky. You guys know that I am famously known for hating the I Can Talk sticker logo in the front. I wish it was just a removable sticker, you know, for people like me who just don't like that. I feel like it takes away from the beauty of the box. And it's weird because the hole doesn't match the bag which is i don't know it's weird but i don't know i like these little guys i like the fact that they can talk they have different phrases and yeah this is one of my favorite ones and i think this was the most recent release i could be wrong oh, i think this was from two years ago and the uh, pie face was from last year i could be wrong but don't quote me it's been so many releases that i just don't remember and i can't keep up but this is a good guy doll and this is my number one and my favorite one out of all of them so far all right you guys so moving on to the next one now the next one is going to be the evil looking one or the more scary looking one this is not really evil looking but of course it's not the cute looking one in the face and this is from i don't know i want to say child's play 2 it could be from the first child's play according to the box it says child's play 2 but it could also be from child's play the first one and this is another great one now this is not particularly my top three favorite chucky dolls i feel like this would probably my least favorite one i am not saying that i just don't like it but if i was to rate them from first second third and fourth this would be on the fourth place 
uh, but it's still a really really good doll it's a really good collectible if you don't have this one I highly suggest you getting one because these little guys are just incredible and I like the fact like I said that they all come with the I can talk button they have different phrases and yeah this is this is a really good collectible and to have them all propped up with the rest of them is a must have and like I said I would probably put this on my on the scale of one to four in fourth place all right and moving on to the third one now the third one you guys can we please talk about this little guy right here this little guy is freaking this is the best this one is the best this will probably be my number two in my list i should probably put this one as my number one because this guy is incredible and the packaging the packaging on this guy is just beautiful whoever designed this packaging whoever came out with the idea of putting the face because before it was just uh the good guy logo on the side you know that this logo right here on both sides and they never had they never had this they had the other logo in the back so once they started adding this i feel like the the packaging started looking a lot better than what it did but uh, again they started leaving the i can talk logo in the front of the box which i personally hate but other than that you guys this child's play 3 doll is incredible i just adore i freaking love this doll and he's just amazing and for 98 dollars you are definitely getting your money's worth he is just a one-of-a-kind piece i wish that big companies would release like life sizes you know i know techno arc did uh, a life size of this guy right here and i wish i could have got my hands on him because he is just incredible and to have a life size that looks like this is just amazing it's incredible but yeah this doll will probably be placed on my number two of most light chucky dolls i probably would just bump this one down to my number one favorite check it out from masco toys because i don't know when when i first saw the pictures of this one the promotional picture pictures i was just static i was just so incredibly happy that they were going to release this version of chucky dolls and i like it i love him i think he is just perfect and the packaging is just amazing so if you don't have this one you guys if you can only get one out of all four or out of all of them that they have ever came out with this is the one that i would tell you to get because he is just beautiful this one or the good guy and yeah you can never go wrong when it comes down to mesco toys especially with this one all right and moving on to the last one but not least and that is going to be the bride of chucky scar chucky doll now it seems like it's a lot more easier to get the rights for the scar chucky from bride of chucky or suit of chucky because a lot of companies have released their own version of the scar chucky doll and i gotta say you guys this would probably be placed as my number three because i do remember getting him this i think this might have been the first mesco toys chuggy doll that i've ever gotten i could be wrong i would have to look at my old video but i think this is one of the first mesco toys that i got and when i got him you guys i was so freaking happy i was just so happy that i was able to afford one of these and honestly to this day i really like this doll it really brings a lot of memories back when i was just starting a chucky doll collection and now look at me look at where i'm at with a bunch of chucky dolls and so yeah i don't know every time i look at this one it just reminds me of the struggle was real and now we're here but another reason why i really really like this doll you guys can you guess can you just guess why i freaking love this doll because this doll doesn't have the i can talk in the corner and i like the fact that they have the the box that just looks like it was burnt it was an old box just sitting in the attic or in the basement it just looks old vintage and you can just see the wear like i just really like how the effect of i don't know like when something hits the water and it just fades away this is just beautiful and i really really do like the design of this box especially when they came out with this i thought this was a really really good idea i don't have the the scar checky doll i think it's a scar checky doll that looks just like this but it comes in a black box with blood or blood dripping or blood somewhere i was never able to get my hands on on that specific check doll i probably will one of these days i don't know maybe if i find him cheaper on ebay 
or whatever the case is but for now i'm happy with just what i have and honestly you guys this is a really good collectible to have if you don't have any scar chucky dolls i think this is a a really good good doll to have also i believe this is the one that doesn't talk i could be wrong and i think this might have been the first one that they had came out with or the first doll that they released once again, don't quote me on that. I don't keep track of their releases, but I think this is the first one they came out with, and I think this is the one that doesn't talk. That's why they released the other one, the one that comes in a black box with red, and I think that one does talk. But other than that, you guys, I really like this one. I really like the packaging, and I hope they would go back to, to not putting the I Can Talk logo up here because it just, to me, it bothers me, but it is what it is. Mezco Toys is just going to keep doing whatever they want, and I will continue to buy, and I will continue to support because they do have great dolls. But alright, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I gotta say, I am in love with my Chucky dolls. I These two right here, these two are personally my favorite ones, so if you... If you want to know which ones are my two favorite ones out of all four of them, it's these two right here. So if you have these two, then you have really good taste in Chucky dolls. But I gotta say, they're all really, really great dolls. Don't get me wrong, I really like all of the Mesco Toys Chucky dolls because they've been doing a really, really good job when it comes down to these type of Chucky dolls. And I can't wait for the new one. I can't wait till they release it because... It's going to look great with my collection. And I'm happy that Masco Toys is stepping their game up when it comes down to Chucky dolls and Chucky merchandise. I mean, they've come out with a lot of great Chucky products. And who knows, maybe one day Masco Toys will decide to release a life-size. Can you imagine if Masco Toys released a life-size Chucky doll? That would just be incredible because Masco Toys is a good company and I think they know... I think they know what they're doing, especially when they're inside an office, just having a meeting of what's the next project for Chucky's. And they need to listen to Chucky fans because we know what we want and we know what we need in our Chucky collections. And I think they're listening. I think every company is listening and taking notes. That's why we have so much Chucky merchandise every year. And I'm just really thankful and really happy that nowadays we have more Chucky merchandise than we ever did. Because back in the days when I started collecting Chucky dolls, there really wasn't stuff like this. The only ones we had was like from uh, Dream Rush, but at that time, I really wasn't focusing on collecting Chucky dolls, so I never really did my homework on where to get them, or I was just never really, I guess you can say, focused on getting Chucky dolls, because I never really thought I was going to have a Chucky collection, and it just became an obsession, and I'm happy that, I'm happy that I started collecting Chucky dolls, because you guys, this, this makes me happy, and I love my Chucky collection, and it's only gonna get bigger from here, so, yeah. I hope companies keep releasing more Chucky products, you know, Spencer's, Hot Topics, uh, Spare Halloween, everybody. I think everybody who has the rights to these movies should start releasing more Chucky products, especially especially Universal Studios. They they, they need to stop giving Japan all the all the cool stuff, you know? Like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to throw shade at Japan because they, you know, they they do have a lot of great stuff, but we we you know, we want a little piece of the pie too just a little piece because they really do have a lot of great Chucky merchandise and I wish Universal Studios would release those products here in the United States but whatever the case is you guys I'm just happy to have more Chucky products merchandise more than we ever did back when I first started collecting Chucky dolls so yeah what do you guys think about this video let me know in the comments down below which Chucky doll do you guys have from Masco Toys are you guys familiar with the Masco Toys 15 inch do you guys have all of them are you guys excited for the new one let me know all your comments your concerns in the comments down below because I like to read what you guys are saying to me and I don't know I just like to communicate and stay in contact with all of you so let me know in the comments down below also if you guys like this video please give this video a huge thumbs up if you are new to my channel don't forget to click that subscriber button also don't forget to click that notification bell to get notified for every single time I upload which is once a week sometimes twice a week really depending but alright you guys as always thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video bye